We did the first exercise. You engage in, you push, it, push in. I neutralize with my body weight. Then I open the space and demagnetize to, to neutralize. Now what I'm going to get my partner to do is lift their arms up and then put their arms back down again. Now, as he did this, there was a raising in this belt there. So what I want to do is I want to touch those two points and just release that edge of the muscle away. Okay, now lift your arms up again. Okay, the energy went to the back. So now, instead of that part, it's there that's using, using the lift. So I get in. I demagnetize those muscles. Now you lift your arms up again. Okay, now it's moving around more to the, up to that area. Now you lift your arms up again. And now it's moved more to the back uh, around the, uh, the, the scapula area. So then I release that area. And I keep going until everything stays down when he lifts his arms, that there's no rising of the shoulders. And you repeat, repeat, repeat. Once you've, you've emptied out the whole area and the arms lift without lifting the shoulders, you, you, you're there. You can do that with any type of the way a person lifts their guard up for, for, for um, sparring. Uh, if they lift their guard up with their shoulders, they're going to be very, the center's going to be very high and vulnerable. So you want their shoulders to be down and under as they lift the guard up. So if you're a martial artist, you'll work on that type of movement. If it's uh, just working on the basic movement of a strike and the person's lifting the shoulder as they strike, you'll work on softening the shoulder down to connect more body connection. So you can move. You can do this through any mechanical movement. You're teaching a martial art, you teach a movement, the person does the movement, you go up to the student, you ground them, ask them to do the movement again, you ground them, and you just keep releasing the lifting, rising points on the line of power until they're doing it perfectly. To get this skill amplified, we magnetize the hands, practice releasing, and then under dynamic tension, releasing, and then once you've done a dynamic tension, and you go back to just simple movement, it's, it's very easy to do. It's just a matter of tuning into that demagnetizing frequency. How do you demagnetize the matrices? Along a line of power. Then you can ask your partner, okay, we're just gonna relax and throw a punch out, and then, okay, there's a little bit of connection here I don't want. You touch that point while they do the movement and you release it for them through the movement and you can clean up that particular movement. Uh, and it can be a golf swing you know, a backhand in tennis, whatever, whatever movement you want, you can uh, uh, apply the same principle to it to get the fascia to activate and the muscles not to rise and disconnect the, the, the mass of power moving through.